Okay, so we're back for part two of how to create and update partition folders in your data lake using Azure Data Factory. And we're using data flows for this. So let me pick you up to where we uh, where we left off. We had created a bunch of different partition folder structures based on our loans, movies, and taxi. Three different data, three different data sets, and three different ways of partitioning the data taxi we are using a decomposed year structure that has subfolders within it for different parts of the date for movies we are partitioning by year so we knew a little bit of, about our data we know the way to group it by year and then for loans we create our own specialized um, structure based on a part column that we created ourselves with a window transformation so let's go ahead and let's add some new values some new rows to this data that's already been partitioned in the data lake. Uh, so I'm going to go over here to this data flow. I'm going to update movies and taxis. So with the movies, I have that same movie data set. I don't have a separate update data set. So what I'm going to do to make it into an update or an insert of a new movie is I'm going to filter just Toy Story. I'm going to take that Toy Story row and I'm going to name it as mark story with a new identifier movie is the primary key field within this data set so what this is going to do is it's going to generate a new movie called mark story with that id in the year 1995. all right now i'm having my selects here because this is my shape shifter and again i'm writing to parquet so i can't have spaces in the file in the column names and then the sync is really essentially exactly the same so i'm used to keeping the same uh same default naming pattern and for optimize I'm using key based on here and that's it the other one is taxi source so taxi we had decomposed the date so I still decompose the date but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create another year of data so I'm going to do that by generating a year plus one so we only had 2013 in there for taxi I'm going to update to 2014 so we'll have 2014 in there as added. So this is showing you how you can generate those folder structures, uh, partition folder structures, and then you can uh, add data to it very easily. So I'm going to take that part test pipeline, and I'm just going to put in the uh, update movie parts data, uh, data flow that we just worked with. And let's go ahead and run this under debug and we'll see that we get those new values. And then once we do, I'll show you how you can read the data in from a data set in Dataflow. Uh, without needing to point to any of those subfolders, you just point to the partitioned folder. Okay, so I'll come back in about a minute after the uh, the oven is warm and the baking is done. So now if we take a look at the taxi data, we see that we now have another year. We have year 2014, so this is how you can incrementally add data into your data lake using these partitioned folders. Let's go over and take a look at the movie's data. We are partitioned by year, so we'll have added another movie for 1995 which is called Mark Story instead of Toy Story. But we can't see that, although we can see the, the date, the timestamp is later. We can't see that. It's a it's a uh, compressed parquet file. So let's go into Data Factory now again. Let me show you how you can look at that data and, and, and play with the data after it's been stored in your data lake in that way. So what we're going to do is I'm going to create a new data flow here on the fly. It's a mapping data flow. It will make the source to be for the movies, so we'll just call this uh, movies source, and uh, we'll create a new data set. And so this is a I'm using ADLS, I'm using Azure Data Lake Store Gen 2, and those are Parquet files, right? Okay, uh, so Parquet 6 is fine for this demo, and um, let's go ahead and uh, point to my link service for my Data Lake Store. And let's go ahead and browse to that container where I put the <clears throat> all that partitioned all those partitioned folders. So we're not going to use any schema import because there's many different schemas within that container. So we'll just that's all we need. We'll just say fine, that's okay. Now what we can do in the source options is we can say that so let's look at the movie so we can make sure that we had that mark story added to Toy Story. So the container the path was let's go back to our explorer. It was output parts movies. Movies is that partitioned folder structure. So output parts movies. Now we want, uh, there was only just that year uh, is the only partition key in there. And then the files are all .parquet files. So just tell Data Factory what is the, re the path for the partitioned uh, folders, and that is movies. And let's associate a, 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 uh, 
a column in it that we can use some metadata for every file that is found within those folders. So I'll call this my file name. All right, so let's go ahead and do a data preview and let's see what we find. Now we should find associated with each row within the movies, the entire set of movies data that we had stored as partitioned parquet files that are compressed with snappy. And we should see the year associated with it because that is the key value that was used for the partitioning. And we should find the file name as my file name. Let's go into full screen mode to explore this data. And we do uh, indeed see all the movies. Uh, we do see the year associated with it and the file name that it came from. Okay, so that all seems fine. Now what we can do is let's go back to our graph and I'm going to filter. Now we don't have a schema to find. There's no projection here. So we're not going to have the name, uh, the title of the movie in our metadata yet, but we can do that if we want to. So we can go over to the data preview. We can click the map drifted button right here and take all those drifted fields and turn them into metadata. So now we can come in here into the filter and make it very easy to say title is equal to uh, Toy Story or title is equal to Mark Story. Right? And then uh, I think we'll just go away from here and we'll do a data preview and we'll see what we get. And there are the two rows that we were expecting and so all the data is stored in your data lake in a nice uh, formatted style of folders where you can query the folders based on the partitioning that you have chosen for your data all within Data Factory, all within the code-free data flow visual environment.